All right, so let me just get this out the way. I messed up, right? Everybody, welcome back to our channel of Missy and Akeem. And today, um, our video really is gonna be a little different. So as you guys know, Akeem and I are married and we have five kids. And so our channel, we kind of want it to be a little well-rounded. So obviously you guys love the decor videos, the shopping hauls and different things like that. But we also want to show you guys, you know, our lifestyle and who we are as a couple and then who we are as parents. With that being said, School is now back in session, full swing. This is the first time in 12 years that we are kid free. All of our kids are actually off the school, grade, age, and um, I'm loving it. All right, so it does allow Akeem and I to have more alone time, but it really doesn't change too much in the evening because obviously everyone's home. So tonight we are actually gonna do dinner and comfort at home i don't necessarily want to call it a date um a night in date in whatever you want to call it we are actually going to cook dinner um have some dessert and then we are going to uh, do some paintings or um some questions or different things like that like we're really just getting ready to have a good time so i am going to kick it over to akeem so he can show so akeem is a chef right like i can cook but like akeem has like a passion or knack for cooking. And um, so, like, so Akeem is the chef tonight and I'm gonna be like the co-chef, what is it, sous chef. chef. So I'm gonna be the sous chef tonight, all right? So let's go ahead and see what we have on the menu. The plan is I'm gonna make dinner for everybody to enjoy. So for that, I'm gonna make just a shrimp pasta. It's like three or four ingredients, just really quick. Show you guys how I make it. And then I'm gonna put the kids to bed. And then after you put them to bed, um, I guess that's like a reverse appetizer. So we're gonna have like the appetizers after dinner, after I feed the kids. So um, we just have some Korean barbecue salmon skewers that we got from HEB. And I have some Argentine shrimp right here. Most of these are gonna go in the pasta, but I'll save some for what we're gonna do. And we're gonna prepare these on, you probably seen these, but it's these uh, Himalayan salt blocks. So you can heat these up to, I think over 400 degrees. You have to do it slowly, but we're gonna cook the shrimp, um, the skewers on here. We're gonna make some strawberry, chocolate covered strawberries. And then, what, January? I bought these things. I originally bought them for my wife's birthday right there. If you're familiar with painting with the twist, it's the same concept, but they mail it to your home, the whole kit. And you know, we'll show you a little bit later, so make sure you stay tuned to the end. We kind of show that, and it's by, um, Amazing party. Amazing party? I believe so. Amazing, Amazing paint, paint party. party. Yeah. So we'll link it below. Amazing paint party. Uh, so yeah, so as we're doing the paintings, or Missy bought this book, and it's just a bunch of questions that you ask each other. Um, it should be fun, and if we don't want to answer, we gotta take a shot. So stay tuned, we're gonna get this dinner prepared so we can feed the kids, get them to bed, and then me and mommy get to have some daddy mommy time. All right, so I got the salt block on this baking sheet real quick. And you can you can warm these up a couple different ways. You can put them on the barbecue grill, you can put them directly on the stove top. But um, for mine, I'm gonna put it in the oven. You have to bring them up to temperature slowly. So like 10 minutes at 250, raise it up to about 350 after 10 minutes, and then finish it off at about 500, 400, 500 for about 10 minutes, and then it'll be ready to cook on. Um, so just gonna set this in the oven. I already preheated this oven, so it's ready to go. Set my timer for 10 minutes. And then raise it from there. And I already have my pasta water boiling. And I have these Parpadelli noodles. Parpadelli. Yeah. Yeah, Parpadelli noodles from uh, HEB. Now the salt block, does it have to be set at a certain temperature? Uh, no, so that's what I was talking about. So. Maybe I missed that. As a, you preheat it starting at 250 or low for 10 minutes and then you take it to medium for 10 minutes and then you take it to high for 10 minutes and that'll give you the temperature that you need to cook it on. Okay. Um, you can also refrigerate it too. So 
if you're serving anything, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but something where you want saltiness and cold, or maybe like shrimp cocktail or something like that, you can put it in the refrigerator for an hour. But already salted the water. I'm just gonna drop these pop delis in there. Trying to figure out, I don't want to make too much pasta, but not too little pasta, so I'll probably put, I don't know why I look at it, one of these bundles, I guess you can call them bundles, it's probably good, like two bundles per person, that's kind of how I look at it, at least for our household. Damn, I got this thing. Struggling on uh, Can you show us what the bundles look like? So they, they come in these little bundles. Got it. Um, like you said, you don't want to do too much. I'm not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the last one. So. Got those in there. So while those are cooking, I'm gonna put my shrimp in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. And I know all my folks was probably looking like, he ain't even seasoning them shrimp, it's coming. I'm gonna season them in the pan, as opposed to outside the pan. To me, I think it holds the flavor better, it's just my personal opinion. Especially when you're doing quick shrimp, you know, you just wanna get some color on them, cook them through. So, just got some seasoned salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and just for kicks, just a little bit of Cajun. And that's more than enough because it's a lot of flavor in the sauce that we're gonna make. You know, no, no pre-made sauces around here, except for spaghetti sauce, but no, no jar Alfredo's, we don't do none of that. At least I don't. Yeah, you don't, sometimes I do. When was the last time you bought jar Alfredo? I mean, I used to when we were in Michigan, but then you made a big deal about it, so right. I haven't since we've been out here. So it's been, it's, no, you, it's been a while. You haven't, even before we moved down here. Yeah, because you cried about it. Rightfully so. <laughs> which one do you like better? Which one do I like better? When I make it, when I make my own sauce versus the little jar stuff that you used to make. Your sauce is good, but I'm talking about convenience. It's quick. Now, it's one thing if you want to make, like, you want to get real technical and do like a traditional French roux with butter and and flour and milk and you know, but the way I'm gonna show you is still from scratch but it's not as complicated it's just literally heavy cream and cheese no no um no flour or anything like that needed so these shrimp are almost done already and excuse me ooh guess who didn't want a nice plate closet Cabinet. Shut up. It's coming. Coming soon. Now, let's keep in mind, like. What's up? My arm? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> so these shrimp are pretty much done. So right before they cook all the way through, because you're gonna put them back. And like to you know to finish it off, I'm gonna take them out real quick. All right, so when Akeem says you know help me out and be my sous chef, what he really means is go behind me and clean up after me and then wash the dishes because like that's not he true. never tells me what he needs me to do, but I hate when he leaves a mess after himself. So that's usually what I'm doing. Like I'm usually just going behind him. Clean it up, but like Akeem never, ever, ever tells me what he needs me to do. That's not that's that's not true. You try to do it all. 
He never tells me what he needs me to do. So that's not true. It's just most of, most of the time I am freestyling. So I'm making it up as I go and I don't have like a set order of things. So it's hard for me to say I need you to do X, Y, or Z. But that doesn't stop you from asking me to come assist you. I just be needing your presence, baby. That's well, all. then say that. I don't have a problem sitting down. My sister-in-law told me if a man offers to cook for you, let him. And after giving you four kids and all my 20s and all my good body size, I'm going to sit down and let you cook. So I just got some um, some spinach in here cooking down. And if you know how spinach is, it'll go from a pan full to like a spoonful in no time. We're going to check the pasta and it's coming together. It needs a little bit more. this wilts down because sometimes spinach can let out a lot of water which will mess up your sauce so I like to try to cook it down before adding it before adding the liquid in so a lot of that casualty Anyway, so to let a lot of that liquid and water that comes from the spinach evaporate so it doesn't make the sauce watery. You see what I'm talking about? Showing the water, baby. In case I've never seen watery spinach before, let me get started. Yeah, so get all that water, extra water out of there. Just put a little bit more. Gotta stay healthy, you know. seasoning so just a little garlic and a little of the Cajun and Cajun seasoning has salt in it so I'm not going to put too much I like to make sure that my stuff is balanced you don't, don't need a high blood pressure with all that salt so just a little bit to give it some flavor but not too much all right mm -hmm. so after that spinach is cooked down we're just going to add this heavy cream I feel like you got this for me. Use a lot. When I make my spinach for the uh, I promise for the you. summer uh, nah. for the summer squash, not summer squash. Spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Yeah. Nah, baby. I yeah. Actually, I feel like you did. Only thing you didn't do that I always do is uh, what's that noise? The timer. So the timer stopped on. The um, salt block. So now we're gonna take the temperature to 350 and set the timer for 10 more minutes. And it's preheating, gonna get up to 350 for 10 more minutes, and we're good to go. I feel like I'm on Mori. <laughs> What I was saying was usually I, I uh, you know, the garlic at the bottom of the pan. I ain't got nothing to do with it. So real quick. Get the flavor. I'm gonna cut up some of these cherry tomatoes real quick. starting to come to a little summer spinach is in there we're going to add the cheese so got some of this shredded parmesan from heb and this video is a sponsor by heb but i feel like they need to highlight you boy i feel like i feel like heb need to go ahead and highlight us because we mention them a lot in our stories on instagram if y'all follow us 
Um, Y'all probably see that. But I think it's time for HEB to show some love, you know. We don't have 100,000 followers yet, but when I cook, people pay attention. So I think they need to highlight us. I don't know if you can tag on. Can you tag on uh, YouTube? I think so. If you can tag on YouTube, I can't remember. Go ahead, tag HEB and tell them to go ahead and sponsor your boy. So when I was running my mouth, I also got Gouda. Um, it's one of our favorite cheeses. So Parmesan and Gouda, mix that in. Probably should have added a little at a time, but hey. You're gonna make it do what it do. So then that's gonna start to obviously melt and come together. And then you can add as much or as little cheese as you like, depending on what you know, your flavor is. And keep in mind, anytime that you're adding cheese, especially Parmesan, it has a lot of salt in it already. So be very careful when you salt it and almost do it to taste at the very end. So now that the cheese, the cream sauce, and the spinach is coming together, I'm about to go ahead and dump these cherry tomatoes on over in here. Casualties. What a counterpoint. We're gonna get them in there. You got another timer going on. And tomatoes is really just to add color. If you don't like tomatoes, you can use red peppers or you know something like that. But for the most part, everybody in my family likes tomatoes. And if they don't know oh well, they can pick them out. So time is going off, so because this is the I'ma let this go a little bit longer. So I'm gonna let it heat at 350 for a little bit longer. Cause I don't want it to crack. So I'm gonna give it about five more minutes and then um I'll raise it to like 450 and that should put us right where we want to be. So then this pasta. And I'm not going to drain the pasta because the sauce is a little thick and the pasta water will help thin it out, but also help thicken it back up with the starch from the pasta. So just kind of play it by ear and see if I need to add some milk to it to help thin it out. So you don't rinse your pasta? With this, di no, you're never supposed to rinse your pasta at all. Um, I know, but I've seen people do it. No, oh, so you're throwing shade at somebody? <laughs> no, you never rinse your pasta because the starch on the pasta is what helps the, the sauce stick to it. Now, that's just technically speaking, but you know, you can make, you can rinse it to your heart's content. You can do whatever you want to do in your house, but from a technical standpoint, no, you don't rinse the pasta. And, and technically speaking, you're actually supposed to take a little bit of the pasta water and put it, you know, into your sauce to help thicken it up. But that's for a more technical pasta recipe. So let me see how this looks. Do you rinse your ground beef? Come on now. <laughs> Don't ask me no questions like that. They're gonna say, I knew he didn't know what he was talking about. Hell no, he didn't rinse my ground beef. <laughs> <laughs> what was that doing? I ain't gonna well, I can't say no names, but it was was it just somebody? It was That's like this it was like this uh viral video that was going around. I think it was like TikTok. Like TikTok was resting like their meat and we were just like, Well where's all your seasoning going? And I get it, you know, if you wanna get rid of the grease. I mean obviously that's what strainers are for, but Yeah, you drain it but you don't So then some people were talking about rinsing their pasta and then seasoning it. But it's like, how do you cook the flavor into it? So I think it's just to each his own, but. No, you salt your pasta water. And then if you really want to put flavor into it, you can use um, like chicken bouillon in the pasta water to really give the pasta flavor. But that's, you know, depending on, but that's depending on what kind of flavor profile you're going for. All right, so I feel like I have to say this again for the people in the comments. I cook. I don't cook like Akeem, but I cook. Akeem, this is his passion, so he watches, you know, Food Network channel. Not and, anymore. They know well, the number competition. This is back in the day. And then, um, but Food Network and um, the videos, uh, YouTube videos on cooking, and he used to read the with the books and different things like that. And so like Akeem is the type of person that one, is his passion for cooking. And then two, 
uh, he's one of those people who can cook from scratch, like, and he can pick up on taste and smells and stuff like that. So, again, I cook, we eat, but you get food on the table, baby. That's all. But I'm Akeem not. cook cooks, and I'm okay with that. So you can see the the shrimp, and if you cook your shrimp more to get more of a, a crust on it, so it has that darker brown the color come through more. But in this particular dish, I like it. I kind of like this was a little pink to kind of play with the tomato color. I don't know. I like it this way. It's good like to pink? me. A little pink. My second favorite color. Mm. Probably one bundle too many. That's fine. So just looking at how much pasta I have up, I probably could have did without one bundle and it would have been perfect, but it's cool. You might want to pull that handle back over now. So you don't bump it? With this? Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. All right. I'm just looking at my the thickness of my pasta sauce. Make sure it's not too thick. Make sure it's not too thin. Now, the last time you made this, you had a lobster. You got any lobster? Mm-mm. Not this time, baby. Tragic. All right, so, so we're gonna go ahead and plate this. We're gonna feed the kids, let them eat, and then it's daddy mommy time. All right, so here is the finished plated product. Uh-uh. I can't wait to eat Do a little seasoning on the plate just for a little razzle dazzle. I already got this one, so. Spinach. So the kids are all downstairs. We're about to eat and then get into part two. temperature um, we got these uh, Mongolian barbecue sam salmon skewers Mongolian barbecue salmon skewers now I don't know how much this is my first time cooking with one of these oh lord <laughs> I don't know how much salt comes off the salt block so I'm not gonna add any other salt to it if we need out you figure we could just do it afterwards but so why don't you just make like four now and see how they go and then you could do the other four later Throw the shrimp on there. Oh, you think you melting pot? Melting pot, you dip it in stuff. Shut up. <laughs> so, I'm not quite sure what you meant there. You lucky I can't think of that grill plate. Oh, you black rock. You think you black rock. You just so eager to get everything on here. You should have cooked steak by it. All right, so here are the kits from, um, the amazing paint party so it gives well it comes with you know all the paints that you would need is paint by numbers um what the finished product is supposed to look like you know just basic instructions and then the front of it as you can see here i'm trying to pull on well this will look kind of complicated not that hard. It's literally painting my colors. And then Missy has Jigga. Black and white. Uh, yeah, I'm like this. So it should be fun. 
I don't know how long mine gonna take. Look like it's gonna take a little minute, but I'm up for the challenge. Okay, so I got my wine, the Moscato DIC that I showed you guys in one of the hauls that I got from Total Wine. And then these wine glasses, um, these are completely different. Well, not completely different. I don't know why I just lied. These are different from the um, sparkling wine glasses. These are a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, but these are also by Scott Switzel. I think that's his name. I got these from HEB. Actually, the other ones I got from HEB as well, but like I said, they're just a little bit smaller because they're for sparkling white wine. Got our strawberries out of the refrigerator. Akeem just pulled the skewers off of the salt block. Oh. All right, so let me just get this out the way. I messed up, right? So. I was doing nothing. Yeah, right. I, I was Yeah, okay. Yeah. I promise you. So, I, I copped it. So, I, like I said, I bought these um, with the intent of doing something similar to this um, for Missy's birthday back in January. But getting ready to move into the house and everything, it just got pushed and we decided we'll do it when we move. And um, Missy kept saying, well, what if the paint dries out? I'm like, it's packaged. It's, you know, in little caps. Uh, what's these not caps? What are these called? They're like little condominium cups. Yeah, they're little plastic cups. I'm like, it should be okay. And um, yeah, so half of them are dried out. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we're trying to take some of our elementary school art education and... It's working over here. Like this one was pretty dry and I just wet my brush and it seems to be working pretty good. So it's working? Okay. Yeah, it's not like you need a lot of paint anyway. So, so. speak for yourself. Look at mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you the one who picked uh, Kobe. Remember? I know. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm happy with my decision. I'm just saying it's it's a lot. So why don't you tell them why Kobe and Jay Z? So if you go to uh, theamazingpaintparty.com and this this is not sponsored. It's just that we we love the business. We like what they're doing. Um, so shouting them out. Um, they have just um, I guess celebrities or popular figures that you can paint. Um, I know they had like Nipsey, Jay Z, Jay Z, Kobe, Beyonce. obviously, Beyonce, Whitney Houston, Tupac. I know they had uh, President Barack. I don't know if they had Michelle, but I think they had Michelle. Yeah, I think they got Obama. They got the Obamas. Um, who else? Anyway, you go check them out. But they have, they have a lot of um, a lot of different people you can choose from. Um, and then some of them have different. Um, and it's for it's, it's it's made by us. Man, I wasn't talking. Don't do that. I wasn't you, talking. Don't do that because you cut me off all the time. Not on camera. Yes, you do. And remember what you said the last time? Because it's my, it's my second time saying this in the video. What did you say? You can cut me off whenever you want. I don't mind. I don't yeah, mind. To interject, not to get your point across. Uh, mm. But anyway, what I was saying was they have, um, sometimes they have a color version and a black and white version of uh, the different, like I believe they had a color Jay-Z. I don't think so. Was it, somebody was black and white in color. There's a couple of them like that. Yeah, Jay Z wasn't. But well, I don't know anymore because it's been a minute since I looked. It was like the last time I looked was like um, around my birthday, but I did see like a couple um, ads pop up recently, so they might have added more. Either way, it's we, I want to say go check it out, but I don't know how this gonna look because I've done painting with a twist before, but it's nothing like painting with colors, and it's nothing like when they give you the canvas already. So. I think this is gonna be fun and exciting, but uh, whether it comes out great or not, I still think it's, it's something fun and great to do. Like, I need to stop talking and get to it because uh, I got hella numbers on here that is somewhat confusing. <laughs> so, yeah. So let me get let me get stressed. So let me pay attention. Do I have all my tools? I need something. To, where did I put the towel? I need something to. To what? Like when I'm switching, when I'm switching colors, but also switching brushes, I don't want to have it. Why would you switch brushes? Like for example, here's a thin tool, right? So that's for me to get up in these areas. Man, you stiff. <laughs> it moves. It don't move. You got a wet them. Yeah, that's just an answer for everything. But um. I think I got all mine. See, 
it's like, okay, so I have a thicker tube and then I have a thinner tube. So I may want to use this as I clean it. I want to have someone to put it and not put the brush on the counter. Why don't you give me any paper towel? I, this was. Well, I got mine inside my uh. Water. Mm -hmm. I think I got all my tools. I'm trying to make a, a reel or um, a TikTok. So the skewers actually are really good. Um, they didn't need any extra salt at all. Yeah, the, the, the uh, salmon turned out really good. The shrimp, I added a little salt to it just, just to kind of see the difference. And it was too salty. So my advice is you don't have to salt it. It's, it's enough salt that comes off of the salt block. So that works really good. I'm going to be all night. It's, it's a lot of numbers, but it's not a lot of, um, like, the spaces aren't big. Like, my biggest space is the six. It's all black. We wanted to paint. I was struggling, y'all. And talk on camera, but unfortunately, that's not working out because this is just a little bit more tedious than we thought it would be. So we're more so concentrating than um, talking, and so just vibing out to some music. I mean, plus we we had the idea like we were gonna play the question game, but we can't find a book. I mean, we just had it like a couple of days ago, so that kind of derailed plans. I feel like looking at mine like this, I'm starting to see Jay-Z, at least his lips. Nice. All right, so I'm down to my last color, actually, which is all black. So we'll see how this comes together. We'll see if this looks like this. But it's been hard for me because a lot of my paints have been dried out. So I've had to mix them with water. Even my number five, I've actually had to make a color. Mixing three colors, just trying to piece it together. So my whole area is just... A mess. But that's our error. That's not from the company. Yeah, no, that's... I mean, we had already... Well, you had already uh, let them know, but that's because Mr. Man let the paints dry out. So, it was our update so far. And we'll be back in a little bit. I don't know. I don't see Kobe and yours. Oh, that's because you still don't like the head part. And all of mine, all mine is his face now, and then I just got to do the hat. Turn out to be Jordan. <laughs> All right, so we'll follow get back up with you guys in a minute. It looks, what, mine? No, like when you step far back, or oh. do it through a camera. It look good. Ah, I like that. Feeling geek because you paint by numbers. <laughs> but you can't even see the numbers. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. All right, so I'm done. I'm just letting mine dry. Do y'all see it? Do you see ho? Ah, look at the lips. I mean, it looks so good on camera. It looks really, really good on camera. All right, so y'all, we just got done finished painting, and um, it's what uh, three hours? Yeah, it took us about. Well, it took it took Akeem about three hours. So yeah, well, yeah, mine was a lot more intricate. There's a lot more colors involved, so mine took a lot longer. And uh, but it was fun. I had a great time. It was a uh, highly recommended. Um, Missy seems to think hers looks better. Mine but. looks way better, but I took my time, and it can look like he just <laughs> jotted on there. That okay, looks so, way better. So I'm going to turn this around, and then y'all tell me who do y'all think, whose do y'all think look better? So you comment below if you think the Kobe painting looks better, or if you think the Jay-Z painting looks better. Okay, but real quick. What's up? Before you turn around. So shout out to Amazing Paint Party on Insta. Is that coming up? Is it is now. I'll pop it up. So on the screen, again, check maybe. them out. Okay. All right. So here is. Oh, let me turn it around. So 
So I painted Hove and the King Petty Mamba. Mine looks like an actual painting. Yours looks good, but mine looks like a painting. So caveat, so here's mine. And Kobe, the Kobe painting does come in black and white. So I do think that they may have mixed up my paints and gave me a couple different ones because they gave me gray, some gray here. Maybe the eyes are supposed to be gray, I don't know, but some gray here and then also some gray on the ear. But on the picture, it's not there, but they do have a black and white Kobe. So I'm thinking maybe they did that. The other thing, and I should have left it out. So they had my colors down here uh, mixed up. So I don't remember the exact numbers, but luckily everybody knows you know lakers purple and gold but they wanted me to paint this per no this black mm -hmm. they wanted me to paint this over here yellow and i think this was still purple but yeah they had these two colors um mixed up but obviously i knew this wasn't supposed to be yellow um so i just painted the way that it was supposed to be so i do think they slipped me a mickey a little bit but i still think so yeah, so mine again, looks better. Check your colors just to make sure because the one thing that I would suggest is they don't tell you, um, they don't tell you like okay you should have two you know twos three threes or whatever the case may be. So if they put that in there, that would be nice. But mine was kind of sabotaged because again we oh got my these god back in January. You got it and done though. It is now September. So like I had to go in, like my my five was completely dried out. So I had to go in and take like three different colors to make a color. So that was frustrating. So it was like super messy over here. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come out, but at the end of the day, because I am a creative, this is what I do, it came out great. Anywho. Anywho, I love it. No, but this was a great experience. We're probably going to do, not probably, we're going to do more of these. Definitely want to do more. We may have a paint party in the house one day. Who knows? That would um, be so much fun. But definitely going to be all black and white paintings because this, <laughs> <laughs> this color one took three hours, man. And I wasn't like, I wasn't like taking my time, but I wasn't rushing. But, um, but no, it was fun. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, that ends stay at home date night. Again, comment below which picture you think looks better, um, Kobe or Jay Z. And we're gonna finish. Oh, I didn't pour no wine. Did you? You still got your wine? Uh, did I you pour? Out. No, I did. I poured mine and drank it. All right, so I'm about to pour me a nightcap. I didn't want to drink and paint because um, I knew this was gonna end up a competition. So I didn't even think it was a competition. I knew it was gonna end up one. Ain't no competition. Okay. Anyway. With that being said, we're signing off. Ain't no competitors. See you into the next video. Peace. Peace.